All right. Shout out to Juan. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah by Hashem God Badash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, your millstone, the well, and the salute. And the shalom to all the Akim that are of your labor and pushing his truth and all sincerity and in truth. Um, not sure what I'm going to be going to. I don't know. But the spirit is just on me to do a lesson. So let's see where it goes. Let's see where the spirit takes me. Tells us what? It tells us that that we would have to depend on our enemies, right? For everything, right? For food, clothing, whatever, right? This is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 48. They say, And thou shalt serve thine enemies, which Yahweh shall send against thee in hunger and in nakedness and in the one of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Right? So, says that we would basically have to depend on our enemies for food, you know, clothing, for everything, right? But in the kingdom, all of Israel will be self-sufficient, right? Now, uh, Black Wall Street, back in Tulsa, Oklahoma, back in, back in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Right, that com that community of Jakes of Israelites was very self sufficient. Right, they were doing better than Edomites. Right, they were doing better than the Edomites that lived in in um, in Oklahoma. Right. Now, in the kingdom, there won't be a such thing as Black as Black Wall Street. Right. All right, man, because number one, we are Israelites. We're not black. We're brown. Okay? My skin color is brown. My bracelets, my Shungite bracelets, are what? Black. Right? My work uniform, my, my work shirt is black. Okay? My beard is black. All right? So there won't be no black Wall Street in the kingdom. Right? All of Israel, all of Yasha Allah will be self sufficient. Right? Okay, this is um, kind of Deuteronomy um, 28 and 1. It says, And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to do so like to observe and to do all his commandments which which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Um, um, so like that um, which I command thee this day that 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 Yahweh thy power will set thee on high above all nations of the earth and all these blessings shall come upon thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of Yahweh thy power right it says blessed shall thou be in the field it's so like this blessed shall thou be in the city blessed shall thou be in the field right 
So wherever we go, we're going to be blessed. Blessed shall be the fruit. So like blessed, blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, right? So, right. So even our children are are going to be blessed, right? Because all of Yasha Allah in the kingdom will have thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands of children, right? Of sons and daughters, all right? And of course. Is and of course, uh, uh, um, in the midst of those thousands and thousands upon thousands of children, there's going to be twins, uh, uh, um, triplets, uh, um, quadruplets, uh, 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 sextuplets. See, say, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit, and the fruit of thy cattle. The increase of thy kind and the sh and the flocks of thy sheep, right? All right, man. So, all right, man. So, um, um, uh, so, so that the fruit of of our cattle, all right, the uh, fruit of the ground is all going to be blessed, right? Blessed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shalt thou be when thou goest out. Right, man? So even when we go into so-called outer space, we're still going to be blessed. Right? Wherever we go. In the kingdom for vacation or whatever. Or just to, uh, or just to, uh, or just to, uh, uh, travel, man. We're going to be blessed. Right? See, All right? So, in the kingdom, all of Israel will be self sufficient. Okay? We won't have to go to the heathen for anything. Right? Because Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah is going to bless us. With everything that we need, right? With everything that we need, with everything that we want, all right? We will have the desires of our heart, okay? Verse 11 And Yahweh shall make thee plenteous in goods and the fruit of thy body. And in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy ground, in the land which Yahweh swear unto thy fathers to give thee. Right? Right? It says, uh, verse 13, And Yahweh shall make thee the head, and not the tail. Thou shalt only, it's like it, thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. If thou hearken unto the if thou hearken to unto the uh, uh, if thou hearken unto the commandments of Yahweh thy power, which I command thee this day, to observe and to do them. Right. So in the kingdom we're we're going to be what the head, and who's going to be the tail? The other nations are going to be the tail, even Esau, the lowest of the heathen, he's going to be the tail. Right? What's that? Yeah, because right now we're because right now we are the uh the tail right now, right? Hold on. Uh, what is it? Where is it? <sighs> okay. This is um, Deuteronomy 28 and 28 and 43 to 44. It says, The stranger that is, that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. He shall lend to thee, thou shalt not lend to him. He, he shall be, it's like it says, He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail, right? Now, the scripture says, right, so we are the uh the tail right now right 
Let's see. What's that? Uh... Hold on real quick. I'm trying to find this book here. Let's see. Say, but many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first, right? So who's first right now? Esau, Edom, he's first, right? But who's going to be last? Esau is going to be last, along with the heathen. It's like, it's like along with the rest of the heathen will be last, right? So all of the other nations... In the kingdom they will be last right say and the last shall be first right so yasha Allah we are last right now but in the kingdom right real soon we are about to be what first all right meaning we will be the head right and the other nations will be the tail right and the other nations they will have to depend on us for everything that they need. That's how it is. That's how it go. Okay. Let's get this. All right, because right now, uh, I think it's Hagar. I think it's Hagar. See what I can find in Okay, this is um this is Hagar one and six. It says ye have sown much and bring in little. Ye eat but ye have not enough. Ye drink but ye are not filled with drink. Ye ye clothe you, but there is none warm. He that come and he that earneth wages earneth wages to put it into a bag with hold, right? So, we work, right? We work, but we're not bringing in enough, right? We're bringing in 
we're we are bringing in we're not we're bringing in a whole lot we're bringing in just enough to get us through through either a few days or a week right and we are all right and uh we can't ever ever save money all right it's difficult to save money right so we work hard but we bring in basically little to nothing okay all right we have to depend on who on esau for what our paychecks right and this bastard he does what he holds the paychecks for a week or two weeks or for a month because some jobs they pay every month right my mother she worked at this one at this one job before she started working for the state okay and she was getting paid with the job that she had before she, she started working for the state she was getting paid every month see Hold on, let me see if I can find this. Please let me remember how it was worded. Um, Okay, this is, um, this is, um, Proverbs 3 and 27 to 28. Say, withhold not good from them to whom it is due. When it is in thine power, it's like when, when it is in the power of thine hand to do it, say not unto thy neighbor, go and come again, and tomorrow I would, I will give when thou hast it by thee, right? Now, that's not the one I'm looking for, though, but let's see. Uh, 
that might be okay let's see this is uh this is the book of James five and four let's see what it say Con it says says um Says, um, Behold, the hire of the laborers which have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, crieth, and cries, and the cries of them which have reaped or entered into the ears of Yahweh of Sabaoth. Right? That's not the one. I'm guessing it's the one in in Proverbs then. Let's see. Deuteronomy 24. Just trying to find the one that hits the point. Which they all hit the point really. But it's Proverbs. 3 and 27 hit the point but okay this is um this is Deuteronomy 24 and and um De De uh, Deuteronomy 24 and 14 and 15 it says thou shalt not oppress an hired servant that is poor and needy whether he be of thy brethren or of thy strangers that are in thy land within thy gates. It is day, thou shalt give him his hire, meaning what? His wages. Neither shall the sun go down upon it, for he is poor and setteth his heart upon it. L least he cry against thee unto Yahweh, and it be sin unto thee. Right? Now, Esau, right? He withholds our paychecks for a week or two weeks or a fucking month. Esau does that. Right? If we have need of those, what? Of that money. Okay? Because we need shit. Alright? We need to, what? Pay bills. Right? But Esau, he does what? He does the, the exact opposite, man. He make us wait. Right? And expect us to constantly go and, to, and expect us to constantly go to work, work and work and work without receiving our wages that we work for. All right? We're supposed to get paid after every work day. We're supposed to get paid after every workday. Right? Now. Let's go to Isaiah. Right? Because in the book of Isaiah. It says that, that Israel will be basically. Will, will basically be self-sufficient. Right? All right, this is um, um, Isaiah, Isaiah 60.
Dude, what the hell? What the hell is this? Okay. This is uh Isaiah. Isaiah 60 and 9. It says, Surely the owls shall wait for me. So I get surely the isles shall wait for me and the ships of torches first to bring thy sons from afar so I get to bring thy sons from far their silver and their gold with them unto the name of Yahweh thy power and come into the Holy One of Israel because he hath glorified thee right um uh -huh. Say, and the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Therefore thy gates shall be opened continually. So I, therefore thy gates shall be opened continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles. And that their kings may be brought right now everything that the heathen has belongs to us okay everything that that moab has it belongs to us everything that uh elam has it belongs to us everything that esau edom has belongs to us okay because the world was made for us all right all of this wealth and all that in the world world man that was created for us. Okay? For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations, Kanslagi, those nations shall be utterly wasted. The, the, uh, the glory of, of Lebanon shall come, un, shall come unto thee the fir tree, the pine tree, and the box tree to 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 sorry, to beautify these the place con so like the place of my sanctuary to yeah and I will make the place of my feet glorious, right? So we're gonna be self self sufficient, man. We're gonna get the desires of our heart, man. Right? Let me see. See this. Before they sing is before they yet speak. Come, Isaiah sixty-five and twenty-four. Isaiah sixty-five and twenty-four. It says. But I'll start at 21. It says, they, And they shall build houses and inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. They shall not build another inhabit. They shall not plant another vineyard. And another eat. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people and mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands they shall not labor in vain nor bring forth for trouble for they are the seed of the blessed of Yahweh and their offspring with them right all right man so even our sons and daughters that we have on this side they're going to be blessed right say um and it shall come to pass that before they call I will answer and whilst they are yet speaking I will hear right so 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 while we are thinking about something right that we what desire we're going to be blessed with that man we're going to already have it Okay, because Yahweh Bashem is going to give us 
everything that our hearts desire, man. We're going to get everything, man. Right? Plus, Yahweh Shah said, Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the to give you the kingdom, right? Right, man? So Okay, man, the curses are coming up off of us and it's going on Esau, Edom, right? Because Esau, Edom, he's he's in the state of losing, man. Everywhere he goes, man, he ends up getting he ends up getting slapped, smacked, right? He's broke. He don't have nothing. Okay, so wherever he goes, right, he gets the stink I look. Right? Everyone looks at him like this motherfucker. See? Let me get that. Let me get that. Here it is. This is um Deuteronomy 30 and 7. It says and Yahweh thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies and upon them that hate thee, which, which persecuted thee, right? So the curses are coming up off of us, right? So Yahweh, what Yahweh shot is, is, is pulling the curses up off of us, right? And are putting them on Esau, Edom. Okay, because Jake is coming up, man. Jake is coming up, all right? Jake is coming up, man, all right? And Esau, he's the one that's going down, man, all right? So as, so as us, so as us, Yasha Allah, as we are, are coming up, Esau Edom, he's going down. See? The seesaw effect, man. Right? Let's get this. This is, uh, let's get Psalms. Mm. Mm. Psalms 37, let's see. This is um, Psalm 37 and 9. It says, For evil doers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon Yahweh shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. Right? But the meek shall, shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. Right? So, we're going to see the wicked cut off. Right? And who's the wicked? Malachi 1 and 4 says, Whereas Edom saith, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom Yahweh hath indignation forever. Right? So so Esau Edom, he's the wicked, right? He's going to be cut down, he's going to be cut off. Right? And Israel, we're going to be blessed beyond measure. Right? We will have the desires of our heart, man. Everything that our hearts desire on this side, we're going to get that in the kingdom. Plus more. All right? But we have to do what? But first, we must seek the kingdom of Yahweh Basham El Shai. Right? And what's that? That's this wisdom. That's this, this uh, truth, man. That's this gospel. 
right? So with that, I say Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Karl Kadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone that will well, and a salute and a Shalom to all the occupants that are out here laboring and pushing the truth in all sincerity and the truth. And with that, I say Shalom.